All right, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are well. Uh, my name is Rob Harris from Optical North Photography. And today we're doing a little bit of a test shoot. It's a very last minute thing because I have to take this light back. But uh, we've got Erin in. She's going to do some hey pizza, pizza Hut photos. And uh, we're just going to do some behind the scenes stuff. I want to show you what I'm using. So this light is the Godox R1, which is really cool because we're at Neville now and don't have a light stand. And this is magnetic. So we've put it on the thing, on the, the pole. So very handy. We're going to just use it handheld and I'm going to light it with it and see what we can do. But it's really quite handy that we found a place to put that to do the intro. Yeah. So if you want to check out Erin, uh, her Instagram is down below and then Sancho's filming for us today. So her Instagram is down below too. What's up everybody? So I just want to explain to you guys where the light came from. I'm busy editing this now and I forgot to explain it. So on my Facebook, I've been asking for an R1 and an M1 for like a year to test camera stuff reached out they said they've got two units for me if i want to play with them so this is not a sponsored video they did not give me the gear i don't own the gear they did not pay me to do this video so this is a test i wanted to do because i want to own these lights so i wanted to see which one works better for me um, they reached out they said come fetch them i tested them the lights have already gone back the m1's still here it's behind there making the blue light on my wall and uh, that goes back tomorrow or the day after tomorrow uh, they didn't give me these lights or anything so i just want to put that out there and uh, i want to say thank you to them for for the loan units if you want to get some lights from them you're in south africa there's a link down below if you're overseas there's affiliate links down below if you want to buy them thanks again and uh, enjoy the video Pew. I don't know if pink's the color. Where's the red one? So bright. I don't know how you feel. It's okay. I don't mind. It's so bright. Nice. See, that's much easier to shoot with. You're filming. Nice. Beautiful. Hold that. Just tell me if your eyes have had enough. No, it's okay. I don't want to like be the person who... Do pull it like off your shoulders but closes up. No, no, like, no, like off your shoulders, but closing, you're pulling it together. Yeah, that's cool. One more. Let me see if I can get the pizza out. It's like you took yourself on a date. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Uh, put your toe on the wall rather than your flat foot. Bring it up higher, maybe. Yeah. Let's take one out and you can almost like pull it with your teeth. Oh. Maybe take... <laughs> it's okay. It's okay if it doesn't work. One more. Nice. Those are cool. If, is this enough space for you to sit? Yeah. Like if you had to sit on... On it with your feet dangling down so this light works really good as a backlight so we're going to try that in a second nice look at me again yeah they look good though 
Okay, so we've put the light on the pole behind it to edge light it with color because the color works better from the side. And then we've got this one. This is the M1. We're going to just use this front light. We'll talk about this, this in another video though. Am I still having the picture? Oh shit. Yes, please. Just for one more. So I think that light now will work really well. Ooh, this is a much stronger light. Much stronger. Blinding the people behind you though. Okay, put the pizza down. Okay, this is 41%. It's quite cool. Okay, let's see if I can underexpose enough to read that sign. Okay, this is 200th of a second. If our left, and then we're going to do the right of her with this. Yeah, that's better. Wish I could see the pizza hut a bit more. There we go. Turn a bit like there, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so the other cool thing about the the R1, the M12, it's got a it's got a tripod screw here, so you can kind of like screw it into something, which is cool. So we're going to use this as a backlight. I'm going to shoot it in the the parking lot, unless the security guy chases me away. Okay, we're going to turn the ISO up a bit, and we're going to turn the show speed up a bit. Uh, okay, give me a few poses. We're gonna just go back to square one here. Pretty. I like it more that way. Like, whatever restaurant that is, they have so much better lighting. We are on 3200 ISO now. Let me see what we can do. That's actually cute too. Hang back again like that, like soft there. M1 on the floor, just putting some color on the tar road. And we're gonna do the front light with this light. So come a bit forward. Yeah. We're gonna see what this looks like. Um. Come a bit more this way. Sorry, I just want to get that light more behind you. Am I blinding you? <laughs> no. I'm blinding myself, so I don't know. I don't believe you. Yeah, that's cool. Let's do another one. Um, nice. Pretty, pretty. Another one, look at me. Okay, again, nice. I know you're standing on your toes, but I'm not shooting your feet. <laughs> Do it now, shoot your feet. Go again. Oh, no, I need that. <laughs> oh, let me just calm. <laughs> Um, we need another idea. Like I think sitting on here would be cool. Just don't know what's comfortable way of sitting. I still want to shoot towards the shops. Yeah. Let me put this over here. Okay, so now we have a little bit of light coming from the street pole thing. So I'm going to put colors on this one. And I'm going to make it cycle by itself. And then we're just going to see what we can do with it. Sometimes the lights are cool, man. Can't make it lower. Now you look good. I 
Uh, I like that pose. So I'm trying to get your feet in. Behind you, rather. Let's swap these two. All right, so we have put the M1 behind just to make it a bit brighter. And we've got it cycling between the colors. And we're just gonna use the front light from this one. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, the M1 is way better. Can you almost sit face this way, but turn your, turn your knee in, so under. Mm. I want one still up. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I wish I didn't have to have this big stand. I need a help. Yeah, that is cool. The colors are so good. Oh, nice. That is very nice. That is like my favorite. Really? This is the favorite scene so far. Sorry, it's a bit close, but pretty. Do you fingers like open your fingers? It's so cool now. We're figuring it out. Sorry. This one's much harder to use than that one. Um, and this, I'm going to just do a portrait. I'm zooming in quite a bit. Nice. Sit, sit up straight. Um, I'm not shooting your legs at all. I just want to get your face. Yeah. It's very cool. The colors are very cool. Let's take a picture. Okay, so I'm going to still shoot from that side. I'm just putting this behind you. And then I'm going to put this on again. Then we'll try one more thing before we go. See, it's so much better with two. Oh, Ooh, it's pretty. Do the hanging one again. Don't even look at me like that. Don't, don't fall though. Tilt your head down this way. Make this hand go like by your hair maybe. Come a bit forward. So I'm just trying to get the, a little bit more. I'm sure I made this teal. I didn't make it green. Why is it green? Go back a half a step, a bit more. So let's try this. Um, I just don't like the shadow on your cheek as much, but we'll see, we'll try both. 
I kept thinking a uh, closer shot, yeah. like head and shoulders, probably till like where that bottom elbow is, so upper body ish. Go, go just off the step. I thought this backlighting would be better, but it's not. That's better. Go a little bit this way. Yeah. Okay, how often do you shoot in the parking lot? Never. <laughs> I shoot in the parking lot all the time. <laughs> I think these these uh, quick, unplanned type of locations are always the most fun. Mm. All right, so we're done. This was very quick, but a lot of fun. The, the lights work better on stands. It's so much easier to use. And I could light the floor with it. So when I started using two, I felt that it was better. I love that I can stick this to a pole, which is very handy. If you didn't have a stand, you could like find a place, <laughs> put it up and then use it. So this is very cool, but it's way less powerful than the, the M1. So I really enjoyed it. What do you think? I, I love this. Are you blind? I think it was very cool. I'm a little bit blinded, but I'm surviving. <laughs> if you want to check Erin out, her links are below. And uh, yeah, if you want to buy any of this stuff, cameras or the, the lights, there are links down below. Just use the affiliate links. And let me know if you want me to test anything else on this. I can reload this from the guys and then do some more videos on it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.